Okay. Let's see if this dude is ready to pop I me want again. Everyone we've got on this guy. Get up there and bring him down. Oh, I see him. <clears throat> He's not dead? Oh my god. Alright, I don't want to take this. But at least to get these last few dudes. Guy go in. All right, there's that dude up there. Is he gone? Now he is. Where's our dude down here? All right, he's gone too, I think. Cool. All right, I would like to pick up my shotgun, please. Thank you. I also need to. A real I have one bullet in this, damn it. Alright, well, looks like shotgun it is. Oh my god. Okay. Taking cover! I see it! Oh my god. What's this dude? I see you. Oh, there he is. Oh, the two of us are just like with this wall. I am so low on health, it's not even funny. Uh, how am I to get up there? Oh, nice little comic book. We'll take that. Alrighty. Oh yeah, this is totally gonna work. We're just a ballerina. Oh, it actually went off without a hitch. Nice. Through the no contact with the fellas on the roof. Feels like we lost him. Okay. Can I go anywhere else or is this a dead end? Do I need to go down? Looks like I need to go down. Oh my god, can they not have an elevator in this church? Could we not have, like, you know, grapple slid on the church bell? Like, I'm surprised Tommy isn't, like, commenting on the. No matter how far we've fallen, we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son. Why is the, the coffin perched up? Like, I hope it's it's bolted down or something. Like, what if it slides off? And now I believe one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh... Like, see how it's tilted? Like, to pay my respects. it's not a lean. I guess so people Billy, could see him. I never said this, but... 
I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. So what the hell are we know. doing? Wait, wait, that's the guy. That's the oh guy. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, what is happening? I'm just, I'm just in a church suit. Oh, this is so blasphemous. This is so blasphemous. Oh my god. What are we doing? <laughs> Kill Johnny. I don't even know where he went. But all right. Oh, there's a dude. Oh, there he is. I'm running for cover. Dude, that was crazy. Who just starts a shootout at a funeral? Like, no respect. None. Throw some flames. Y'all have Molotovs in here ready? Who are y'all? Oh, this dude just got a piece ready for me. You could have stopped all this days ago. This is the way this city works. Oh, wait. Should I get a Tommy gun? Damn it. I probably should. Uh, I probably should just because there's more bullets. Oh, it's out. Uh, well, back to my shotgun. Once the fire cools down. Shotgun it is. Where's this one dude? There we go. Oh my god, why can't I jump? You think I'm enjoying this? There we go. What have you done? Murder in the house. Of I God. didn't shoot first. I just want that to be clear. This ain't a Star Wars Greedo situation. Thieves. Rapists. Yeah, but Killers. I think we all deserve a funeral, no? And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? Yeah. None of us, <laughs> Father. Didn't I just shoot this man? You bastard. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. <sighs> Consider this an act of divine retribution. Yeah, where were you? I thought you were supposed to shoot. Oh, God. I thought you were supposed to shoot during. That make us even. Sure. For now. I thought you were supposed to shoot when the explosion went off. I don't understand. For your trouble, father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. Boy, I don't know. When the cops come. You tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Damn. Threatening a priest? Where the hell were you? As soon yeah. As I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Oh. Where are they? No. The same place as all these guys. Come on. We gotta go. Yeah, boy. I'm ahead of you. Let's go. We we shouldn't have been in this place. Ooh. 
Sorry, where we're going out the front door? Are you kidding? I gotta wait for you. Get in the car. <laughs> Get in. Get in. <laughs> Hurry up. Oh, they about to kill me, bro. You're on your own. I know. I'm, I know I'm about to fail the mission. Ah, oh, damn it. Sam, hurry up, get in the stupid horse. I will literally kill this man myself if I die. Suspect and accomplice escaping in a hearse. I repeat, a hearse. Yeah, the suspect's been lost downtown. Well, today didn't turn out like I expected. Just drive. Or we'll end up in the back. Oh, my God. Hey, man! Hey! Hey! Look. Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy. But I got everything done. Good. Everything? Yeah. Everything. He's gone. Go back to patrols. We'll get him next Okay. Time. We lost him. Good. <sighs> Thank oh, Christ. Thank you. Yeah. I'll be trying to forget today for a long time. You're telling me. Let's get back to the bar. We gotta lie low. The way this all went down, we gotta lie low for weeks. Ah, the priest will keep his trap shut. Don't worry. Morello got a bloody nose, and you and Polly are in the clear for whacking Galati's son. Boss will be pleased. Boy, I hope so. Cause who? Well, that was one Thanks way to again, Sam, go to Sunday for church. Me out back. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know, but when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. Damn. Well, chapter complete. The Saint and the Sinner. Oh, Intermezzo. 1938. We're we having a little intermission. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your bowling bars, and tell you all in gray. Maybe, Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Morello. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. We recovered some account books from Morello's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. Every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. And it was good until it wasn't. Already, uh, Don's can sick the eggs. Yeah, that's the word I can't say. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. 
I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show, or invest it for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. Ooh. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When Are we I was driving eight or the nine, Before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful, skinny Tirneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together, betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat, and everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. Oh my god, sir. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Don't metaphorically slut shame this man. Do you understand? I don't think. No, quite frankly, uh, but your point. we'll say yes for now. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, police at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy, you could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. What? Why? I broke his nose. Surely if you have the fastest dog, even if she is now slow, can she can make here. faster, like, puppies? What kind of lack of vision is this? Give Sarah my best, Tommy. This man is weird. And don't talk about my girl after you just talked about a dog in heat being pregnant. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like those implications. A trip to the country, 1933. That was the weirdest intermission then, ever. Everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back. Eh? You Why? got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. Oh. All right. Well, can I walk straight through the back here, or should I go the normal route? It looks like I can walk through here. Yeah, sure. Back in the day, when the boss was still with that phone, we got called out to a hit. Some uh, politician on the take. Now, this storm's just raging, right? and we're driving out to the burbs to cap this guy. The street lights weren't so good, so we're driving in the dark. We get to the house, and we're about to make our move. And then there's this lightning flash. And for a split second, in the front yard, I see this head just sitting there, staring, cut off at the neck. Nah, this ain't true. Some other crew had already been out to the house that night. What? Yes, the guy had more than his share of enemies. They never found the body. Bullshit. God's truth. Hey, Tommy. You good? No, I'm yeah. not good. Wet, but good. Not after that a horror story you just told? Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. 
Good stuff. Straight from Canada. Oh. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at the farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city, but I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Polly at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case earmarked for the Don. All right. Well, what could possibly go wrong it's on a stormy a night like yours. this? If you want We're going to late, Ralphie. I says his oh. sleep when for Frank sleeps. Man, he's been working us hard. Morello's taking bites out of business everywhere else, Ruff. Booze records where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. Ah, uh, well, I, I just f f f fixed the cars to time. I, I changed the p p plates again. You can't be too careful. Let's see you in the morning. Okay. Oh, I like that we could talk to him. I really. You know how like for some NPCs, if you're like nice to them, like good stuff will happen. I hope they do that with him because he's such a sweet guy, especially how like Polly bullies him. It's like, dude, that's not necessary. Leave that man alone. Yeah, this rain is crazy. Yeah. Come on, Tom! Hey, hey! Watch it, pal! Just dry it out! Sorry. You know this place? Oh, uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Was load up the, the narrator. It was not an easy back. few clams. It was a yeah, nightmare. Let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it, Sarah. Later, Luigi's little girl. Your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down. She'll straighten you right out. You're going home to a couch. <laughs> now, I wonder what kind of stories she could tell about her old man, though. Luigi was a stone cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't Luigi? know. Luigi? <laughs> you know, cook? she's been helping out it's behind the bars the since cook. she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. God damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something well, we thought off. it was supposed to be easy clams, oh, Polly. Get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain or into the bootleg. <laughs> Bro, why? We supposed to be undercover. Why would you blow your horn? Sh Bro, shut up. He ain't coming. Okay, let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Why yeah. are you wearing a new suit? Just in case Frank was right. On the on a I'm midnight go grab job. Boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. All right, let's go find Sam. <laughs> 